Oh, right here. And okay, so I have um, I ordered quite a bit of stuff from Amazon and eBay. I'm just gonna do a bulk haul. Um, haul, haul technically. I got a uh, A4. Hopefully, at least this one uh, is the right size. A self healing cutting mat for the purpose of using it with my Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine. So hopefully when that arrives it will be the right size so I won't have to cut it to the right size. Um, <clears throat> that being said, I'll do a quick, you know, I already put it in here because, well I, I need it to, I was, you know, anyway. <laughs> This is, well, ignore the coffee filter, because I figured that would actually be useful. And maybe these things. These were from the uh, side onion bits from the sushi thing. So I kept these little containers. Thought I might be able to use it. This coffee filter thing from, oh, from the kitchen. And these are, if you can tell, my Wow Embossing Powder powders and stuff. So this, I, one of the things on eBay, uh, not eBay, and on Amazon, I bought is this one, which is a set of six, which is the Clear Regular, Clear Sparkle, Ebony Regular, Bright White Regular, Silver metallic regular and gold rich metallic regular. I don't actually read them, I'm sorry. Hopefully, hopefully, I just read this last piece. And in a different one, I bought. No, that's it. I was on Amazon with um, Quick Draw Supplies, as the seller on that. If you need to know. Um, <clears throat> in my scrapbook, another loose bit, because I just like that. And I got this set. I saw it was a thornness. Um, Amazon as well. And it's um Wow Christmas Bits Glitter Embossing Powder Set. It includes three 15 ml pots of white, green, and red glitz. So that's what it says. Um, yeah. And so that's a way to put in my thing. Um, this will go in there as well, I guess. I need extra papers in there for this right now. Um, that there. <clears throat> and I also bought this. As you can see, it's still in its packaging. The Versamark water stamp pad. The embossing ink I shows out. Here are I don't know. So let's see one more. So this is a red glitz and sparkly. Here is the green glitz. And here is the metallic gold rich regular. <clears throat> here is the primary ebony regular. Clear sparkle. Metallic silver.
This is the Gion Boss figure. White glitz. I mean, that would be good for snowflakes or something. If you just want a very muted background. And this is a opaque bright white maker. Which one's the you know, so background or white things like snowflakes or whatever. So those are that. And this, I stuck it in here. I don't want it going out of place. This is the little anti-static pouch that I had sewn together instead of buying one for like five pounds. I just used some scrap uh, fabric I had, sewed it together on both sides, inside out, then put it back right side up, then sewed it. As you can probably tell by the uh, stitch work. not quite in line some places, but eh, it's not bad. And I filled it with cornstarch or corn flour. The other option you can fill it, is, fill it with is uh, baby, baby powder, I believe. So that is my embossing stuff. Uh, the uh, embossing tool, or the heat gun, I bought that one first for my resin, but then it was, it, it had a lot of power, so it kind of pushed the resin out of the mold. I didn't put it away, you know, high enough, but then, yeah, so I got a um, long net light, lighter for that instead, and I can use the heat gun for, let's see, it's down here somewhere. Under the desk. Aha. What is. Oh, what is that? Stick this up. Um. This is from a previous. Uh, these are wax melts. And I've got. A cherry blossom and wings along with you know the screw and the handle those are from the previous kickstarter thing that i got ages ago so, well, i think I, I kind of kept some bits i just kept them in here but i haven't really liked it these in the way I could piece cut out from somewhere. There's a, there's a previous birthday card or something, but I don't really mind it coming up. Like, there's a piece of um, a card or something if I wanted to. Yeah. You know? So let's put this back here. here for a sec. Okay, the next things that I had is sequestered off to the side. So I'm going to put it upside down because it's got my dress on it. Um, here. Spellbinders Quick Trimmer. So this is basically It came like this, very not put together. You can have a word for that. Yeah. So it came, the packaging came broken, which is kind of questionable. But um, it comes with little pouches when you stick your. Paper and foil blades in it to keep it protected. And I technically need to put it in the part and then what's it called? Um, 
put a key ring so you can you can find me when I want and these more bits. You can put the in between. Like, for instance, I believe on the thing where they are. Uh, yes, we got like a notch there, and you can sit in. It's like, yeah. I believe, yeah, so I just sit some guides, and with this, if you put it on top of here, oh, there's the instructions now, so shall I just show you a quick, kind of, example, shall we say. I've got the paper one in my hand, so I'll just use this. <laughs> oh so, yeah. Because on here it's got inches and millimeters. It's only one side in. So millimeters and inches, so it's eight inches across. Five. five or six, you know, five and a bit inches down. And it's got some degree triangle angles, or whatever you call them. But anyway, so for instance, shall I give you a demonstration? I just do it from the bottom bit. I'm keeping the instructions. But, uh, so I put that on the top here. And like say if you want to trim off from here, you just line it up, you know, on the line there. It's probably not going to be straight, and then that one's just... Okay, so, so you want to cut it there. You get this in its notch here, and ta-da, a nice clean cut. You know what, I'm going to do this side too, because it's not straight. So, so you find where you want to cut it. Get the notch there, and ta -da. So that can go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. And you don't have to use the guide, but the guide is the guide's there for. So I'm going to just oh, keep this from my scrap part, but um, but yeah. So, like, for instance, you can do it along this way. And you can use either one of these lines. But, like, it's not very... It only goes so long, you know? And, uh, I'm guessing there's centimeters on this one. 
was like, that would be inches, right? So that would be centimeters, and that's a millimeter. Oh, and this gut fraction is up here. Three quarters, half, and. Yeah, I'm never good with fractions. I'm guessing these down here are centimeters. Is these ones, so I'm guessing are inches because they're more, more spaced out. Uh, so these ones say millimeters down here. And because I'm just. Yep. And technically, I could do this on my jersey. Oh, dear. I mean, it doesn't need to be straight. I want it straight, but it doesn't need to be straight. Huh. And obviously, you cut the foil with the foil cutter blade. And you cut the paper with the paper blade. Right? So, that is how you use this one. So, it was advised to keep the, uh, the set in its little, uh, I think they called it a clamshell packaging. Even though the packaging I got is completely messed up. <clears throat> but, um, so it's got instructions for using the foil blade, using the paper blade. So, basically, Using a foil blue, this spoil it shiny, side up, cross cutting that tape, use a stamp or a roll of tape as a stopper to keep you in place. Place trimmer guide over the foil, use glue plate as a template to determine which cutting spot is to be used to trim foil. Place hand on trimmer guide, trimmer guide to keep it in place, and use the foil blade to cut foil. To make sure the blade is centered in the trimmer guide cutting slot. Move trimmer guide, rotate, uh, cut foil on the mat to cut down for the place guide back over the trimmer. Well, you get the gist, yeah? And then for uh, place foiled or stamped image on a cutting mat, using the lines on the mat to align straight. Line cutting stops on either side of the image, place hand on trim guide to keep in place, and use paper blade to trim. Perfect use for trimming thin, foiled, or stamped sentiments, because their sentiments are the stuff from their ones or whatever, or their stamp, I can't remember which now, but they are the exact size of one, you know, of this thing, so if you had a Get a sheet of sentiments, you put it down and just go boing, boing, boing. Yeah, don't pay attention to my sound effects, so that was just really weird. Now also here, if you look, this is slightly, oh, it's got a slight kind of raised edge on there. Well, that's the side you put down, so you have space to place the blade down. And think, is that kind of like holds the paper in place or whatever? And I'm gonna put this back in here for now. The packaging is, as I said before, not good. Like Because it won't even really stick to place. This clamshell packaging won't really stick down because it's not even broken. I might have to find somewhere else to put this. Because if I leave it in this, most likely I'll end up uh, dropping or losing it somewhere. So, but, um, it's a technical thing. Common sense, but I don't really need this in with it, so I'll put it in this book of stuff. 
I'm going to take these in here because I haven't taken pictures of anything yet. I was just thought, can you take pictures of it? I like it. Anyway, this one was from eBay. I mean, I did find one that was on Amazon, but this one I think in total was £8.50. When the one on Amazon was more expensive, I believe. So. I just had a thought. I had a print up here that I needed to. Uh, ooh, and it's the right size, I believe. Yeah, this is how I repurpose things. <laughs> and for my prints, I don't want to put them up on my wall. I prefer to have them in a plastic or some type of cover. I don't ruin the picture when I put it up. Get double sided sticky tape um, thing and look. That's nice. So I don't have to worry about finding packaging for that. But anyway, <laughs> back to what we're actually talking about. Here is the Polymer Clear Stamps. This is like the instruction set. So here is the stamps. It's got the push here, it's got a circle pit with the push here that looks kind of like some balloon type of you know, sphere kind of shape. That looks like a tube, like right? that's you know thing. I mean you put that one in maybe in it? I'm not sure. But um you got push me, press me, open me, slide me, shake me, pull here, open here, slide, look inside. A couple arrows, heart, another arrow, another arrow, another arrow, and another arrow. This is like a hand with a, hand with a heart on the sleeve where like a cuff links would be. Anyway, so you got another you pull here, open, open, shake me, slide me, lift the flap. So I thought that would be interesting for when I get around to even trying to make any interactive cards. I've got these on hand. And uh, got pull here, and, like one on top of the other, and as a line here, so I can put it in the arrow. Open and open two different fonts, and open me here, and open here. Yeah, anyway, I'm just repeating myself. So this is the uh, Gently peel me off the sheet, stick me to an acrylic block, press me into ink, and stamp. When we're done, please clean me off. Store me safely so I don't get lost. This is the Lawn Fawn brand. The Pushier collection, I guess. That's on the barcode. Made in the USA. A lot of stamps and stuff are all made in the USA, but I've been on the so stamps and to go with it, the coordinating dies to go with it. Or these ones. So the heart will go with the heart one. Circle, circle, arrow, and a hand arrow are these two down here. And that arrow, so this one will be. But it looks like these are like connected, so you need some sort of wire cutters or something, which I'm not sure if I have any. I'll have to check if someone else has any of them. But anyway, yes, so those are these two things. And lastly, this thing, what is it? Oh. This one is not eBay or um, 
hands on. This is Spellbinders. I believe I bought it off Spellbinders actual website. And not just through Amazon. Let's see what the receipt says. Pretty sure I bought it. Yeah. Off Spellbinders. It was a uh, buy one get one free. I think. Either buy one get one free or buy one get one something for sale. I think it was one. I think it was buy one get one free. I'm pretty sure. So I thought I couldn't resist. This is the Spellbinders Hard Coral Plate Glimmer Essential Solid Arc. Arch. 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 Is what I keep doing it. <laughs> As you see, it's very shiny. Here's the uh, glimmer plate here. Works with platinum and platinum six, which I have a platinum six. Um, where's the platinum? Here's platinum six. Anyway, here's the arch, and here is the square. I decided to get the solid square and the arch, even though if you didn't want to be technical, if you put them like that, you could get a semicircle and a square, and it's just a square, if you want to do a thing. But, um, I, got, I chose the arch because it is possible to get a semicircle if I wanted to, you know. And this is the square, so, um, I still need to some, sometime get the rectangle, circle, heart, some weird design thing, because like when I do, you know, the glimmer stuff, and I want to use the negative as the design, you know, already finished out, taken out, used for something else, then I could use the negative part of the foil and not waste it by using it like this. So that was my, my thought process anyway, and I need to actually get to start to doing stuff with it. First I have to actually make the unboxing video of it, and of the um, before I start anything. Like, that's these things here. So I had that stuff, that stuff, and that stuff. So if you want to be technical, these are also spellbinders, but I bought this one through Amazon. Because it was, I think it was cheaper at the time. And uh, yes, I believe there is some type of... Oh. So bear in mind, in the... Uh, um, and die cutting machine. I ordered a spare set of paper and foil blades, you know, for a spare set. <laughs> Just like one of these to finally keep the bucket or something. Now I'll probably use this more for the foil than the paper because I do have a guillotine and well, two scissors. <laughs> but we shall see. Oh yes, what else did I have in this, uh, in this video? Oh yes, my unboxing covers do not. So let's just put these bits in. And... Should I just put the embossing covers like this? To be in the screen? <laughs> I need to take pictures. Should I put this right here? Like that? I guess? Maybe? Maybe? Well, it is kind of a... Like that, maybe? And it's got less... Space, so it's just... It's... Oh, whatever I'm trying to say. So yeah. I just needed that picture, so... Mm -hmm. 
it's nice with this time with the cutting mat of the size of the uh, plastic or acrylic whatever trimmer guide thing. This probably going to take the pictures when you're too loose to get anything out. <laughs> yes, so that's everything in this bundle. The other selfie mat is, should be bigger than this one because this one is a I just put it away here. Yeah. And yeah, I can't be bothered. So, actually. Uh, pay no attention to my. That is not any four, I guess then. Anyway, I think it's. Well, it's the size of my notebook. Is this a five? So it seems to be smaller still. So a five. I'll go with a five. This is a five size. Wash and taste. So. Dive back over there. So, yes, I've been half and four. Wow. I'm gonna need to speed up some bits. It's way past half of them now. Anyway, so let's just do a quick sign off. Thank you for watching my summer. Here we go for locations over and out.